lunchtime. With thanks to Board Gosh Energy, fixed unit rate electricity plans, keeping you in control of your business electricity costs. And you're welcome back and Eamon Dunphy is back and he'll be back at the helm of his uh, programme here on News Talk at 11 o'clock on uh, Sunday morning so listen up you'll also be able to watch him tonight on uh, free to air television I think we should call it Eamon good afternoon to you Good afternoon Damien You'll be on with on the match on tonight yes. against uh, Slovakia um, the, uh, some of the, One of the big talking points has resolved itself slightly uh, Shane Long's out now he was out then in then out again Yes yeah, so I understand uh, the yeah. calf uh, muscle strain um, but Really, Kevin Doyle is an outstanding player, so there's no real loss there. I mean, it was uh, it was quite difficult to choose between them, so that's not a problem uh, at the moment. Because we'll have uh, Robbie Keane back from LA. He's yes. played two games, competitive games over there, and Kevin Doyle up front. Yeah. And you think it's it's you're, you're optimistic? I think about this match. I am. Yeah, it's a very big night for Irish soccer, and it's a huge night for Trapattoni's project tonight and next Tuesday in Moscow. But tonight, uh, we have to win the match to have a realistic chance of qualifying for the European Championship Finals. Um, I think we have the players to do it. I think if we play well, uh, I think we will win the match. And Slovakia are decent opponents. Uh, they beat Russia in Moscow in this group, uh, 1-0, which was a huge result. At the same time, they can be very disappointing. They lost the recent friendly to Luxembourg. Uh, so they... Um, they aren't consistent, but we need to uh, play a high-tempo game tonight uh, and put pressure on them. We have all our top players available to us, and there's some wonderful players there, Shea Given, John O'Shea, uh, Richard Dunn, Robbie Keane. We have a lot of very, very good players. Um, and you want us to take, a, 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 I suppose I'd, I'd call it a muscular approach up front, is that it? No, no, a high-tempo approach. And, and for example, our two full-backs... Uh, young Ward who's coming in to make his international debut competitive debut at uh, left back and John O'Shea at right back I would argue they should get forward and that we should play the game in Slovakia's half and put them under pressure um, in a way that ne- the Trapattoni may not uh, be prepared to do he may not want his full back going forward he may want to play a more cautious circumstance which you think they should bring all guns forward to the to the the enemy box, basically? I do. Yeah, yeah, I think that you know home advantage means a lot. This is a team that probably is lacking confidence and what may well be lacking their star man and captain, uh, Marek Hamsik, who plays in in Syria and Italy. He's their best player, and he's not fit. We think. So uh, I think we should use the advantage of playing at home uh, and be very very uh, attack minded. But Trapattoni is... Um, He's Trapattoni. He's Trapattoni. He's yeah. Italian. We haven't conceded a goal in our last five games. If we don't concede tonight, we'll have broken a record. And that gives you some inkling of his approach to the game, which yeah. is safety first, don't concede, and then uh, you know steal a goal somewhere along the way. Eamon, is this a defining moment these two games for uh, for Trapattoni because uh, he's he's been like he's he's like a caricature almost of the real old fashioned managers over the last few weeks. He he, he yeah, brushed he, off Anthony Stokes. Yeah. James McCarthy was told to go down and play for the under twenty ones. He's doing the business in the Premiership. There's no boozing, no late nights, no skiving. Uh, Doyle got the chop, but then he was replaced by Long. But Long is back in, or the Doyle is back in again now. Ward comes in for Kilban, who's served Ireland. What is it, sixty? Six times, yes, but he did without a break. No. That, yeah. that, that's a good choice. But the trap is basically he's he's asserting himself at every turn. Well, he's like Frank Sinatra, Damon. He does he, he's he's done it his way, and he has put shape on it. He's a very professional man, a very charming man. Uh, he has a, a fabulous CV, but he is from the old school, um, and. I, that's fine because I, my understanding from talking to the players in the team is they like him very much. He's quite charismatic, but the style of play uh, is sometimes it, it tries your patience. Uh, it doesn't necessarily suit the Irish temperament, um, and that's the problem. Uh, he will face if we don't qualify. Well, you compared him to Frank Sinatra, but is he like a sort of a, <laughs> a venerable old chef in charge of a great old restaurant where the, he doesn't have the, the sous chefs working for him that he he might have had in the 1990s, <laughs> you know? No, I think it's a bit, that's a bit unfair. I think he is a traditional Italian manager and safety first is always what they think about. They don't like to concede goals and they believe their philosophy is 
if you don't concede, then you, somewhere along the way, over 90 minutes, you'll get the chance and take it. Well, that's probably not a bad bet because the Slovakians yeah. haven't scored many goals in this, in this competition. They have only scored four. And, no, it's, it's good, yeah. but tonight... We can't afford a draw. We we really need to win this match. So there's no point in playing this boring old Italian football. <laughs> well, it's it's it, we depend really, I think, on performances from someone like Damien Duff, uh, Robbie Keane, uh, Kevin Doyle, uh, Aidan McGeady, our our attacking forward players. We we depend on them to produce a bit of magic to win us the game, and also from set pieces. I would expect us to be dangerous. Uh, we scored from a set piece in Slovakia. So I'm optimistic, Daniel. Yeah, for sure. Now, I'm well, pro-trap. Fi- a, a pro-trap and optimistic. <laughs> a final question to you. When we, when, we, when we beat the Russians in Moscow yeah. on Tuesday night, the bandwagoners and the Alicadus yeah. will be all out in force again. It'll be like to uh, football Italia all over again. It will, will be, be, yeah. yeah. Oh, they'll all be our government ministers, uh, Daniel O'Donnell, uh, Bishop <laughs> Eamon Casey. I met them all. Uh, Bono. And they'll all be back telling us who should be in the side and all of that. And but Bertie. I, Bertie will be there. A Bertie. <laughs> poor old Bertie. I think Bertie will have to watch out um, if he goes anywhere near the Aviva Stadium well, tonight. I, he's having a birthday party, I understand, in Croker uh, in early September. I'm sure you're on the guest list, Eamon. <laughs> if I am, it'll yeah. be a party of two. <laughs> uh, ju- <laughs> Absolutely. Listen, before we let you go, I understand you're a Kilkenny hurler at heart. Yes, What's the re- What's the result for Sunday f- in advance, I mean, please? I... I I, it's a, an absolutely fascinating match. Uh, Tipperary looked fantastic uh, when they won last year, but Henry Shefflin wasn't fit. Uh, and I think with Henry back... Uh, the King is back. The, the, the King is back. Yeah, I should explain, your, that's the, your family background is that's in Kilkenny, family. Kilkenny yeah, Hurling. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. Ardent, and always were Arden, Kilkenny. So no mercy, no mercy on the men from Tip? No, we do them. There's a bad drop in them. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Eamon Dunphy, thanks for joining us here on the Lunchtime Show on uh, News Talk. Uh, 53106 for your text messages and listen up to Eamon's programme on uh, Sunday at 11 o'clock here on uh, News Talk. It's a great programme, uh, very analytic and no, uh, analytical and no bullshit. Lunchtime, with thanks to Board Gosh Energy, fixed unit rate electricity plans, keeping you in control of your business electricity costs.